XRP and Ripple going to leave a dent in the universe. Today is November 15th, 2024. And since December 20th, 2020, I've been holding on like a tick on a dog, diamond handing, and been repeating the same thing over and over and over again. I didn't bend. I didn't sway. I was like an oak tree with my roots deep in the ground. I knew this moment was coming. This is the moment where everything starts to change. I told you guys on November 15th, 2024 to pay attention. And as we transition in today, we're on the verge of Gary Gensler resigning. Ripple stablecoin is active. Ripple and XRP destroyed the SEC. A revolutionary documentary premiere is out now. XRP Unleashed, formerly called XRP Unleashed, now rigged. You are about to see that this was systematically, step-by-step -step planned out. And I'm here to tell you that this is the greatest opportunity that we will ever experience in our living history. I have remained stoic since 2020. I've repeated the same thing over and over and over again. And I will continue to tell you what is going to happen from 2024 to 2030. So I'm going to show you some bullish, bullish news on this video today. And now I'm going to start to tell you from 2024 to 2030 what's going to happen, just like I did from 2020 to 2024. And we're experiencing everything I said. So at the back end of this video, I'm going to share with you what's going to happen from 2024 to 2030. And I will repeat the same thing over and over and over again. I will be stoic like an oak tree. I will not bend. I will not sway. I cannot be bought. And I will always stay with my narrative. Let's dive in. All right. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is this came from Good Morning Crypto Abs, one of the greatest hosts in human history. Uh, it says, Justin <clears throat> Arkak, CEO states digital assets are at a tipping point for mainstream adoption. Financial institutions are now understanding this, and we are excited to play our part in helping them embrace the technology by bringing their assets onto the XRP ledger. We have hit a tipping point for mainstream adoption and digital assets for real world use cases. Financial institutions are now understanding, then we are excited to play our part, and they're bringing it on to the XRPL. This is the news right here. So Forge has announced the launch of EURCV stablecoin on XRP Ledger in 2025. And this is the article. You can dive into this. Okay. After Ethereum and Solana, now they're announcing the XRPL. And then here's Brad Garlinghouse. I want to get to the juicy news. Here's Brad Garlinghouse. He said, I joined Artificial Cantor's annual crypto conference today. Safe to say that the U.S. is ready to be the crypto capital of the world with the next Trump administration. Also appointed a shirt, uh, also appointed shirt to wear on perhaps what are Gary Gensler's last days in office? Oh, interesting. <laughs> I love this shirt. That is legendary. Also APT shirt to wear. I'm not sure what that means on perhaps. Oh, he predicted it. This is crazy. I didn't even notice that. And then here we go. Okay, so this is where all the bullish news comes in. I told you guys November 15th, 2024. Why? Remember, billionaires use astrology. Millionaires use charts. JP Morgan. Billionaires use astrology. Millionaires use charts. Guys, we're all being played. It's just a wave of energy. This day today is a very, very heavy, heavy full moon. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. So Meta Law put this. Gary Gensler resignation watch on November 14th. Going back to 2008, the SEC chairman, Chris Cox, informally leaked that he would be resigning before the election even happened in November. If Gary Gensler does not resign soon, it will be the first break with traditional norms at the SEC. November 8, 2016, Trump was elected. November 14, 2016, Mary Jo White and the SEC announced her resignation. You got November 5th, 2024, Trump elected. November blank, 2024, Gary Gensler, we are waiting. Then, yesterday, just in, 18 U.S. states are suing the SEC, accusing Gary Gensler of gross overreach. 
And yesterday, Gary Gensler says he was, he said, listen to this key. Gary Gensler says he was proud to serve as the SEC chair, defends his approach to crypto regulation. Okay. Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler spoke this morning after practicing law institute in the 56th annual conference on securities regulations. It sounded awfully close to a farewell speech. Interesting. It's remarkably, it's a remarkable agency, Gensler said, of the SEC, which he has led since 2021. It's been a great honor to serve with them, doing the public's work and ensuring that our capital markets remain the best in the world. Hmm. Sounds like a resonation to me. So we'll see. Probably the 15th through the 18th, you're going to see that. And I do want to warn you guys too, just stay calm during these next couple of days. Just breathe. <sighs> Could be some heavy, heavy stuff happening. So just, just flow with it, guys. Remember, tides go in, tides go out. Tides go in, tides go out. Jesus said, take the middle ground. Take the middle ground. Be calm. Breathe. Okay. So Brad Garlinghouse, this is bullish. So this is all happening. It's like, is it by chance that all this is happening at the Ascent? No, it's not by chance, guys. It's a wave of energy. Okay. It's a wave of energy. I'm super fired up today, guys. Brad Garlinghouse joining Liz Clemon on Fox Business tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. We'll have to check that out to discuss how the future of crypto innovation and regulation is already looking up under Trump's administration. Without Gary Gensler's foot on the market's neck, tailwinds anyone? And then she said, she asked him about the um, stablecoin and then Ripple announced. With RLUSD operational, operationally ready, Rip, Ripple's president, Monica Long, recently joined the block to share the story behind uh, Ripple USD and what it means for the future of digital payments. And it's ready to be launched and ready to go. Okay, so we told you from 2020 to 20, I'm not saying I told you, so I'm just saying what I told you is from 2020 to 2024, what would happen? And now we're here. Okay. Now I'm going to share with you from 2024 to 2030, what's going to happen. And I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Everything I share with you is exactly what I did. Okay. It's going to be the same pattern. It's just the wealth paradigm has changed quite a bit. Okay. So the pattern from 2020 to 2022 is the same pattern I'm going to do from 2024 to 2026 and then 2026 to 2028. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. We went from first they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it. We're in regulation and joining phase, Tim Draper, okay? Regulation and joining phase. So now you're still in a very, very speculative phase, okay? We're out of the era now that crypto is not here to stay. You can stop listening to your drunk uncle, your, your financial advisor, and all these things telling you that crypto is not here to stay. We're done with that narrative, okay? Let's let that go. Crypto is here to stay. It is part of your new financial system. So from 2024 to 2026, what you're going to see is massive, we're in it right now, massive parabolic move. Okay, this is the key though. Everybody comes rushing in when we're at the top. So if you get caught at the top, just hold your tokens. If you come collapsing down, we're going to walk, I'm going to walk you through 2026 to 2030. Okay, so right now we're in the bull market. Okay, we're going to see some capitulation right now, probably 19th through Thanksgiving, and then it's going to go straight up. Okay, so what I do, and this is what I did from 2020 to 2022, it's unrealistic how much money you can make, turning a small amount of money into a large amount. So if it's unrealistic, have you ever seen a market, listen, have you ever seen a market go straight up? No. Has a relationship ever been perfect? No. Has a business ever been perfect? No. Everything is a wave of energy. Everything goes up and everything comes down. So if the wave is going up and you know it's going to come down, well, shouldn't you be pulling profits? And you're not the master of the market. You're not going to catch the top and you're not going to catch the bottom. So as it goes up, I'm pulling profits. I have exit targets. We use Merlin, the smartest way to track your crypto. Okay. As we go up, boom, I pull, I pull, I pull. So as everybody's waiting for the big kahuna to catch the big wave, when nobody does and they come collapsing down, I've already pulled profits four to five times. Okay. I pull it down the risk pyramid, super high risk, high return. I bring it down the risk pyramid. Okay, this is this is 2024 to 2026, and I stuff my IUL policies. I use cash value life insurance. Okay, I have very high risk portfolio, and I have a very low risk portfolio that I can compound the cash value. So I stuff the profits, the house money, into my cash value life insurance, and now I can bank on myself. So now I've multiplied my money three ways. I have the money that I put in here. I pulled profits. I pull it down. I insure my wealth. The principal is guaranteed. 
I'm getting market-like returns with indexed, and I can borrow against the cash value. So the money I put in here went up, I multiplied it, boom, and now I can multiply it again. So my money became three. That's the richest man in Babylon. Okay, then I let those sit. Then I'm going to, with a little bit of the extra cash, I'm going to buy some more silver. I'm going to keep buying Bitcoin. I'm going to keep stacking Bitcoin. I'm holding it forever. Okay. And now I'm going to start getting into real estate for tax liabilities. And the quickest way to wealth is business. And I own six different companies in information, technology, attention, and education. Okay. So entrepreneurship is one of the fastest way to business. So if you need to increase your income, that's the fastest way to business to wealth. But what you do with that wealth is very important. So now from 2024 to 2026, that's the cycle. 2026, I'm more excited about the bear market than I'm the bull market. In 2026, it's going to come collapsing back down. Then we got 2026. Okay, so remember, we had 2022, 2023, back into 2024. We'll have 2026, it'll collapse. We have 2027. We have 2028 up until around October, November to accumulate. That's where you get wealthy. You get your shit together, get your house in order, get all your debt paid off. You get your debts and non-negotiables lined up, and then you stack, you stack, you stack. And then when you profit, you secure, compound, diversify, grow, and then you protect. You put a trust over all of that. Okay, so that's what I did from 2020. I've been speaking this truth since 2020, 2024. That is fully in place now. So now this cycle, I'll be stuffing my cash value policies. Okay, I'm going to hold 50% of all my alternative coins and 100% of my Bitcoin. Okay, so I'll exit 50%. If it doesn't hit my targets, I don't exit. If it collapses, I buy more. Simple. There's no emotion in this. Zero emotion. If you're trying to get rich quick, you're gonna get wrecked. If you're if you're if you're chasing, I, I just this is just an, a narrative that I've seen over and over and over again. If you're in that get rich quick mentality, you're chasing meme coins and you're doing all that stuff. There's not one wealthy person I've met that chases meme coins. They just don't. We're focused on long-term fundamental portfolios. We're moving money through the system, securing, compounding, and growing. Building real companies, real businesses, real things that'll go from generation to generation, okay? Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't take advantage of those opportunities, but if that is your mentality, you're in a casino. You might as well go to the lottery, the gas station, buy a lottery ticket. You may as well go sit in the casino because you're going to get a big hit and then you're going to get addicted. It creates addictive behaviors. That's what it does. And you're constantly attached to a screen and up and down and chasing this and pumps and dumps and trying to get in and get out. It's like, it's not a real fundamental way to live and it's not a healthy way to live either. So we got to take a deep breath. We got to understand that this is just a wave of energy. Okay. We got to get out of this indoctrinated mindset of trading time for money. You need to now, this is one thing I want you to adopt right now. You no longer trade time for money. Okay. Money works for you. Even if you trade time for money, you need to change that frame of mind. When you get paid, money is your employee. You should pay yourself first 100% of time. So if you start to pay yourself first, eventually that money will free up your time. And what you do, you got your nine to five. What you do from five to nine is extremely important. You should be studying financial literacy, getting a side hustle, figuring out how to reduce debt. If you have two cars, go down to one. You free up a $700 car payment. Don't go buy more shit. Invest it. Learn how to take sovereignty of your wealth. The middle class is a is a is actually a newer concept, guys. The middle class is getting wiped out. We have to start. We're in an era of authenticity. That's what we're in. That's why these actors had zero effect on the presidential election. Zero. Zero. We're moving from people playing characters to people with character. Think about that. We're moving from people in centralized media to completely decentralized media. You can get paid to be yourself now. So the more authentic you become, the more unconditionally loving you become, and the more grateful you become, that's a frequency. That's energy. All right, I'll get off my soapbox. That's exactly what I'm doing. Congratulations, super bullish. Oh, and then we go into 2026. And we go into 2030. That's where the big transition happens. We go in the next bull market. And then after 2030, it's all going to be unrecognizable. I'll break this all down for you guys on every single video. Um, and a huge warning, huge warning. Please spread the word. That's not me DMing you. We do not have an investment platform. I'll never DM you about your crypto and I'll never ask you to send me money or my team. Okay. We do not invest people's money. Those are all scammers. We can't even keep up with the scammers. Delete them. 10 more pop up. Okay. What we do have for you though, I get hundreds of messages on how I use cash value life insurance. What's more important is what your needs are. So my team can help you understand what financial strategies are. So if you go down to the description of this video, you fill out a needs assessment, fill it out as detailed as possible. They will text you, call you, email you. 
My team does not get paid by you. It is a free consultation. Okay. All 50 states and Canada, they'll teach you about cash value life insurance, how to protect your family. I'll look at retirement strategies, but what's more important is what works for you. What works for me may not work for you. Okay. Second, I have what's called the 120 day challenge, my warrior Academy. I've helped 9,000 people get their shit together. Subconscious mind programming, goal setting, budgeting, financial literacy, putting the blinders on, live calls, Q&A calls where you can ask questions. This is your tribe. This is your vibe. So if you feel lost, you feel like you need direction, the Academy is for you. I promise you it will change your life. You lock and load, you go into my 120-day challenge for four months, you'll come out a completely different person. Trust me on that. That's in the description of this video or my social media platform. Let's get after it. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.